Hey, it's Zero with a tutorial for War Scourge, Node 6, Difficulty 8 with 237 Scourges. Your Scourges are on the left there, and I am scrolling through at a slow pace so you can read them off. I have this, this is the same run that I've been doing in the rest of this series, uh, this SAC series, and I did notice that somewhere along the lines today that they added the free points text to the scourges and they also fixed power fatigues to show that they are actual to show which abilities they are actually costing more so that is nice i did do a couple of sacks already with my smaller tunes i have a very slim villain um villain roster and what i did was i took down cap sam's ultimate and special Captain Marvel's ultimate and special, the ultimate from uh, Miss Marvel, the special from Squirrel Girl, whatever Sharon Carter opens with, whatever Valkyrie opens with, and Black Bolt's special. So going into this node, these are... I don't. I never built Doom, so I'm in kind of a weird spot. You know, pretty much anybody that's going to be watching this video that's looking to run a 2.5 million run, you probably have Doom. I don't. All right, I unlocked him in the beginning of July. I think it was about a week before the first Famine Scourge. So I don't remember if that was the beginning of July or the beginning of June. But anyways, I unlocked him, planned on building him up. Didn't have the resources at that time, so I didn't. And then... Before I ended up getting the resources to build him up, Bionic Avengers were announced. Since Bionic Avengers were announced, I have absolutely no reason to build Doom. I'm not building him just for war and uh, Cosmic Crucible. All right, he might come in handy in these scourges, maybe, but he was completely unnecessary in both the Famine and the Pestilent Scourge, and I've been getting through this just fine. Uh, without him in the war scourge, I think he would be handy here. Um, I, th I think that that he would be helpful. Sure, absolutely. Um, but as far as needed, no, he is he is not a necessary tune. He's more of a nice to have. So I'm going to throw Lady Deathstrike in here as a fifth. You might notice some goofy isos. I didn't want to have any skirmishers. And minimize how many raiders that I had to put as few vulnerables on the field as possible because those scourges that I'm running do give the enemies a ton of positive effects when they end their turn with a vulnerable. So I have healer for both Lady Deathstrike as well as Agatha. Now, Omega Red, on the other hand, anytime I have Omega Red with Morgan Le Fay. Omega Red gets off a striker and becomes a healer instantly. So Omega Red has a high health pool and a pretty good speed. So that's why you see he's a, a blue ISO for healer. And those other two are only at green ISO for healer. Those other two, I just made them healers for this particular Scourge. But Omega Red, when he's in a mode and he's on a team with Morgan Le Fay, he does really well as a healer, surprisingly. Um, I always run Morgan Le Fay as, as a striker. I have ran her as striker since I unlocked her. Um, I understand why some people run her as skirmisher. You know, some people are, you know, completing content within their arenas where they just don't have room to be running both Agatha, Agatha and Loki. They have to put Dorm on their team. I don't have Dorm unlocked. So I have to, I have to run Agatha and Loki to give me that focus so I can still keep running that, um, that striker ISO on her in arena. So, node six. I'm going to rewind turn meter of all these people here, followed up by the ultimate from Morgan Le Fay onto Miss Marvel, trying to get a disrupted on Miss Marvel so that she does not gain that taunt when any of these heroes drop below 50% health. I am going to put the ability block onto Squirrel Girl so that she does not run that ultimate and put offense down on all of my characters. I am going to rewind turn meter here. Let's see, we didn't get that ability block on Sharon Carter and I can't remember what her second ability is. 
Um, you know what? I'm going to... Uh, I usually land that ability block. It's pretty rare that I don't. Let's see. We'll, we'll uh, rewind turn meter on Black Bolt, and then we're going to stun him as well with Agatha. That way he doesn't burp on anyone. So I don't care what happens to Lady Deathstrike here. I don't care if I use all her cooldowns. I don't care if she dies. Doesn't matter to me. I'm not going to be using her in the next node. These other four, however, I want to make sure that I have all of their ultimates up and that they are at least alive. I don't care if they're healthy at the end of this, but I want them to be alive. So my first two tunes that I want to kill here are going to be in this note or in this wave are going to be cap sam and valkyrie is who i'm going to try to have be the first two tunes that i kill um after i kill two tunes the next wave is going to spawn in it's going to have a couple more hero asgard as guardians so i don't want them to get all those effects and safeguard from having someone die when valkyrie's present So I'm going to work on Cap, Sam, and Valkyrie as best I can. And then Cap, Sam, of course, is just a uh, always a threat. So if I do have to use an ultimate ability to preserve the life of the rest of my tunes, uh, the ultimate ability that I will that I would say is probably the least valuable for me going into the next node would be Omega Reds. So if I have to, I will use Omega Reds ultimate ability. But it would be nice to have if I can preserve it. Let's rewind turn meter up the gut here, get as many of them as possible. And we will try to kill you since you have a vulnerable and you do things that I don't like. Okay. So I am kind of stuck here behind this taunt. I'm going to, I think I'm going to use his ultimate ability just to get a bunch of slows on the field, try to slow everybody down. And then I will start. Working into Squirrel Girl here before she gets all those negative effects off of everybody. Because her next move should be that cleanse. Uh, many vulnerables for me to hit into. Yeah, I don't want to hit. I don't want to waste that attack on Heimdall. Heimdall's pretty worthless. We will let's work on Nico next. I don't like Nico. She has higher turn meter as well. So our health is looking pretty good here. Could be better, could be worse. Kill Sharon Carter. Mm, let's rewind Captain Marvel's turn meter and put a slow on her. And I think we have, let's look at turn meter here. Yeah, we have enough time. We will hit Captain Marvel. Looks like I will have Lady Deathstrike go after Agatha here. So, and both of those will go before either of them. So we are good. This has been a tutorial for Node 6 of the War Scourge. Difficulty 8 with 237 Scourges for an estimated run of 2.5 million. Thank you for watching.